boys, welcome to another video and today we have got some more Initial D Extreme Stage. Um, it's been quite a while because obviously my shifter broke in, uh, in like last week so I had to get a new one but we have a new one and it's really, really stiff and it's kind of hard to shift with but we're going to try our best and today we are on Irizaka I think it is or Irizaka or something across those lines and we're going to be racing, we're going to be racing. I, I'm very confident on this map. Um, I, I, I've I've raced on this track before a few times, and I'm very confident that we'll get this one easily in the next episode, and we might move on to the next track also. So, uh, without further ado, let's get straight into this this week's episode. All right, so here we go. This is, I believe, this is is this the downhill. Or, I have no clue. I think, yeah, this is downhill. So we're doing the downhill first against one of the Evo guys. I can't remember his name. I've also moved the, the microphone again, uh, as you might be able to see on the wheel cam a bit. Um, so if it's in a really bad position and the audio is really bad, let me know and I'll sort that out for the next episode. But yeah, it's been a while since we've done one of these and it feels really weird using the shifter again because obviously I've been using the, um, the flappy paddles to compensate like just playing generally, like generally, not like on the videos and stuff. So it feels really weird. And I, oh, I, sh oh, I miss shifted there. I didn't even go to four. Okay. Come around this corner. This is this is what I mean, boy. It's it, it's pretty. It's it's like pretty physical. You know. Okay. You know what, guys? I'm gonna move the mic because I can already see it shaking. So if you just give me a second. All right. There we go. So now it's back in like a normal position. I mean, you will probably be able to hear something, but it, it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, Coming into this corner, bang. Okay. This is this is when the uh, this is the this is the one track where you actually have to like use muscular strength to win. Like it's an actual thing. Like it, it's so hard. Oh my god. It's so just. It takes so much energy to move that wheel around. Oh, come on. And I'm really messing up this time. Really messing up. Don't follow this line. If you are playing initial D, it's, it's not going to do you well at all. Okay, then we come around to the corner. Take that really short. But we're, in, we're in the lead, so it's, it's alright. I mean, he's not gaining. He's not gaining. I mean, if he was gaining, I'd be I'd be very worried. I'd be like, oh shit, we're... Okay, he's gaining. Oh shit. <laughs> I, as soon as I say that, he starts gaining. Oh no, that's not good. Right, we're going to go down to third. Come into the corner. I'm trying to move the wheel as like uh, less vigorously as possible because obviously you guys can hear and I, I don't want this video to be inaudible. Oh, I, why put it into third? That's the shifter coming into play now, the new shifter. Still need to break it in. Okay, we're going to come through here. We're going to jump over, because you can actually jump over these, uh, these little things over here like that. Bang! And that gives you a bit of a lead. But obviously you're going to get a speed decrease at the same time. And I think that worked. I think we've got a bit of a distance. I mean, we were at 11, 11 meters, and now we're at 20. So that didn't work to an extent, which is good. All I'm saying is, this is the first race on this map. Imagine how how it's going to be when uh, we're in the later levels. Oh my god. Well, on this mountain, I keep on saying map. I need to say like mountain pass. It looks all like track or something. Yeah, that was weird. Want to stay at a high speed? And we haven't really upgraded our R32 yet either. I think we're going to be doing that very soon. I can just see it. Oh, yes. I can see us needing to upgrade very soon. Are we going to need to shift up or no? No? I think that was, that was an alright... For, for a car that hasn't been upgraded, 110 isn't bad. And for a first attempt, I'm... I'm pretty pleased with that to be honest, I don't think that was a bad score at all, so that was the first race um, and we'll go on to the next one. Okay guys, so you probably don't know this, um, <laughs> but as you can see by my kind of top change and probably the lighting in the room, um, today is like, it's like two weeks since I last recorded this, had some issues again with my PS3, it seems like my USB ports are broken and it's not supplying enough power to my wheel and my wheel kind of just broke. I might have already shown you that clip. If I haven't already, I'll show you now. On a corner. That's not going to happen. Oh, fuck. He's taking me. I've lost my wheel. I've lost my wheel. Okay, my wheel's gone, guys. My pedals have gone. Shit. 
Um, but yeah, we're back here again. Um, it's it's been a couple of weeks since I last recorded this, um, but we're gonna go at it. Um, I haven't played much initial D recently. I played it a couple times with friends on the weekends and stuff, but that's really about it. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm hoping my wheel doesn't fuck up again, or, or my PS3 doesn't fuck up again. Um, we'll see how this goes. I've got it in the wrong USB port, which doesn't help at all. But yeah, we, we can pray. We can pray. All right, so here we go. Evo guy in place. That was very poor. Why did my... That was very weird. It didn't rev for some reason. Okay, I think that USB port's fact. <laughs> I think for some reason, it's just gonna... You know what, Cam? We've had enough of you. And, you know, you just go, bye, bye. Your, your wheel's gonna go again. I genuinely think that USB port's fucked, because this is not very good force feedback. Okay, we can see how it goes. Okay, we're gonna go into gear three, turn around into the corner. I'm so sorry if the audio is bad. I watched, I was just editing the last, the last one, um, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna improve the audio. And the next thing you know, the audio shit. So, I hope, I, I basically what I've done is I put it on top of some Xbox One games. So hopefully that does the trick. Although I am seeing it shake quite a lot, so it might be bad. Still, I don't really know. I'm, I'm hoping it's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to do too, too many vigorous moves on the wheel. So we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I'm starting to be a lot more gentler with my shifter. Yeah, that's definitely making some noise. I just heard that hit the back of the thing. Okay, I'm gonna come back, come into here. That's beautiful. And we're gonna go back into gear three. Ooh, baby! This R I know this R32 inside and out now. I think, really, it should be clean sailing from here on out. I think Bunto we might have some issues on. We might have some issues on the in uh, on the Project D Takami. But really, it should be clean sailing here. I know what I'm doing with the car. I know the track quite well. So, we shouldn't have too many issues. I think I think little mistakes like that, like not going into the right gear or something, that could really mess me up. But besides that, honestly, I still think we're going to win this race without a problem, really. That black Evo is a very... It like with the fully upgraded one I usually use, it's a really easy way to race to win. Fuck off. Oh, so hopefully we'll we'll have this. But again, I'm not I'm not trying to be too vigorous with the wheel because I don't want to hurt your guys' ears. Oh, okay, going on there slow. That's 40. Jesus, that's slow. I've missed the jump as well. All right, it's all right. We're just blocking. I am the master of blocking. I am really good at that. If there's one thing on this game I'm good at, it's blocking. Gear 4. Maybe, can we get into gear 5 through here? Nah, it's not worth it. He's really on my ass though, I'm not gonna lie. He's literally on my ass. Ugh. Break into here. And we're gonna do the same thing into here. We're coming out of here so slow though. With my fully upgraded R32, I can do that at 90. So to come out here at 80, sometimes even 70, that's not not very good at all. We're going to switch into 4. Space car. <laughs> and like I just said, easy win. Got the countdown going, but it's alright. It's an easy win at the end of the day. So, um, we'll go into the next race. I think the next race might be a boss race. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, we'll go into the uh, the final race of this episode. Okay, so I did, uh, yeah, this is the last race. I'm a hundred percent sure. Uh, you got the SW20 there to face. So yeah, we'll just see how this goes. I've mm, I don't know. Our car isn't upgraded, um, and towards the kind of later sections, that could really, really become a hindrance. So. We'll see how this goes, but I have high hopes. The R32, especially in straight lines, performs rather well. So I'm hoping that that is the case here, and we can kind of get away with this. But, um, I mean, we'll just have to see, won't we? So I'm going to come out to gear three. Got away there at 90, which is good. For a, for a car that's only on, what, like stage three? Good corner, good corner. But he's, he's going to start catching up soon. You can hear that turbo going off. 
I'm not sure if, if, there, if there is actually turbo boost in this game. If there was, I imagine there'd be a boost meter. But um, it feels like there's... With, with this compared to naturally aspirated cars, it feels like this it has that boost now, you know? Maybe that's just me thinking things, but it definitely feels that way. Gonna go into gear four, back into gear three. That it looks a lot harder than like trying trying to get this wheel to turn and like cooperate with me is so hard. We're gonna go back into gear three. We've gone straight into the wall, but somehow we've managed to <laughs> to come out faster. Come out 83, 80 again. Decent, decent. As long as we, as we come out higher than 75, I am happy. I can deal with it coming out at 80, but when you come out at fucking 60 kilometers per hour, that is not a good sign. Yeah, you start to catch up now. This is this is when the catch up will seriously start playing in effect. You'll see, coming into the next corner, he's gonna take over, and it's all all me from there. But yep, told you. I've just, I've just got to find some space now and just capitalise. Thing is that MR2 is really underpowered because I've got one on my other save and it's not very good. Yep, go for that. Oh, I've taken him! I've taken him! I've ta I've beaten the king at its own game. Okay. Oh god. Oh god, I am scared now. Okay, I am scared. Fuck off. No. He's taking me again. Okay, I think a blind attack may in order, but maybe in order. All right, I think a blind attack may be in order. Not yet though. But I think a blind attack is definitely needed. Or maybe a tactical overtake. I don't know really. Oh no, a blind attack is not needed. Oh, and he's gonna get away. He's done it out of nowhere. He's done it out of nowhere, and he's away. He's breaking away now, 20 meters, 21 meters, 22 meters, and it is being done. Oh my god, that, that overtake there, I saw the gap and I just I just took it. Absolutely Merkel. So that is the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next initial D Extreme Stage episode. Peace.